one of the things that we had stated that we were going to talk about is what is deep learning? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. You know, there's kind of this surface learning where um, I think we we have some familiarity with that. And I think um, when we're home educators, we have more opportunity for deep learning because um, uh, but but that doesn't mean we do. It just mm. means we have some good opportunities for it. But, you know, I think in the classroom, a lot of deep learning can happen there depending on how things are organized. So, you know, an example of the surface learning would be, you know, a parent will say to me, well, you know, we do our spelling t- you know, every week we do our spelling, but then I never see it in my child's writing. Like they'll pass all our spelling tests, but they're not really getting it in their writing. I think mm-hmm. that's, you know, a very common thing. All of us have experienced. Exactly. I was mm-hmm. I was a weak speller um, uh, growing up and I could pass all my spelling tests. That was not the issue. Mm-hmm. How I needed to <laughs> approach learning for spelling so that it really was deep learning and I was really making connections. That's something different. So surface learning, you can pass, you can you can say, yeah, check, I check the box, move on, I don't remember it, mm-hmm. I'm not connected mm-hmm. to that material at all, and it right. hasn't changed me in any way, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of the definition of deep learning is, I'm seeing connections between what I already know and these new ideas I'm learning, and I'm mm-hmm. making mm-hmm. those connections, so and I'm applying it. it. Yes, it feels mm-hmm. real to me. It feels relevant. Um, some things are hard to help kids make relevant, but I think there are some cool ways to do it. Um, um, and and it is, uh, I'm engaged. That's another thing that's needed. You know, I'm engaged. And I would also mm-hmm. say, that in order to make these connections and build these concepts in a way that's deep, we have to use our language skills. And that sounds mm. silly, but you know, I, I don't know about you, but I have experienced reading to my children while also thinking about what I was going to make for dinner, and I couldn't tell you one single thing I read at the end of it. Uh-huh. Like, we are exactly. all capable <laughs> of getting in this kind of mode where we're just going through the motions, but we mm. really are not engaged, and we really haven't connected our language system. And, right. and, and this is important. And, and how, what's one way to do that? Well, we actually have output. Mm. That's an important part of connection is, and we we'll go back to learning happens in relationship, right? Right. If I'm in a room talking to myself, that could be helpful. I used to study for tests yes. that way. I would mm-hmm. pretend I was teaching and I would say everything I knew about a subject and then I would realize I can't repeat that. I don't know what that part is and I'd go back and study that more, okay? So, right. so there can be some value in that. But Mm -hmm. output, input is conversation. Mm -hmm. And writing becomes a major important piece of output in our learning. Mm -hmm. 